Hello, friends. Welcome. Thanks for listening. This week, I've been really struck by how God set aside all of his dignity to come to us and to rescue us and to save us and to reconcile us back to himself. Most of you are probably familiar with the story of the prodigal son in Luke 15, where this rebellious son asks his father for his inheritance early, and he takes it into a foreign land. He spends all of it, he wastes it, and he has nothing, and he goes to work feeding pigs, and he wants to eat the food that he's feeding to the pigs, and, and no one's willing to give him anything. And he comes to his senses, and he says, my, my father has servants who eat better than this, or who were who provided for better than this. Uh, I'm going to go back to him, and I'm going to tell him, Dad, I'm not worthy anymore to be your son, but just let me be your servant. And so he goes back home to his father, and the father sees him, the Bible says, while he was still a long way off, and the father runs out to meet him. And, you know, it's been pointed out by many people that that was not something that elderly men in the Near East did. They didn't run, you know, they wore these long robes, and it was a really undignified thing for the father of this story to do. And I love it in Chinese. I've mentioned this before, but in Chinese it says that he kissed him over and over and over again. And I love that, that the father runs out and embraces him and and is kissing him and is so happy to, to meet him. And he restores him not as a servant, but as a son. And so a lot of people have just talked about how, you know, the father set aside his dignity and his elation and his joy to see this son coming back. And it hit me this week that Jesus hung naked on a cross, that he set aside any shred of dignity because he wanted to save humanity. He wanted to save you. He wanted to save me. I mean, most of us won't, won't set aside our dignity to, to take a risk just to share the gospel with someone or to offer to pray for someone or to go over to our neighbor's house and uh, speak something into their lives. Maybe I shouldn't say most of us. That's hard for me. I, sometimes I'm, I'm not even willing to take that risk, d- rejecting maybe that'll upset them or they don't want to talk to me or maybe they'll close the door in my face and I'll be humiliated. You know, um, we, we, <laughs> we hold on to our dignity so firmly, and yet here's God letting go of any shred of dignity for you and for me because he wants us. He wants to be with us. He wants to save us. He wants to re- deliver us from the power of sin, from the power of Satan, from the kingdom of darkness and transfer us to the kingdom of light where we can live in fellowship with him. God set aside all of his dignity to save you and to save me. Isn't that awesome? God bless you. Thanks for listening.